What's up guys? How are you? My good name is Mili Chebi and this is my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed or are you waiting for, please subscribe and press notification bell so that anytime I get to upload any new video, any new recipe, any new convo corner, you got to be among my notification gang, gang. So guys, today as you can see, when you see me at pneumatic kitchen appliances Kiambu Road, most definitely it is ordinary kitchen and today on, on ordinary kitchen I will be doing extra extra things mumeni zoya mimi na hizo ordinary recipes zangu leo na waletea mutu munoma mutu mudiambo mutu anapikanga vitu na kupiga picha unajiuliza why why can I move in eh so guys introducing to you Koi's kitchen Say hi Koi. Hi guys. How are you? Koi. I'm good. Hey. What's your name? Tell my guys. name is Koi. Uh, you can follow me on my socials, Koi's Kitchen. Yeah. Yes. So she's she's a lady of few words. I'm a lady of many words. So I'll be Mimi Leon Dapa student worker, but I'll be talking more for her. But focus on the recipes. Recipe nye anafanya. So uh, welcome to Ordinary Kitchen. Thank you for having me. Thanks for accepting to come. Thank you. Your busy schedule. Yeah. You are here. I really appreciate and I can't wait. Yeah. We throw yeah. down a recipe for our people. So what are you doing for people today? We are going to do pork ribs, uh, brined pork ribs. We are going to brine them and then we are going to cook them in the oven. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we are going to toast them in a barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's very delicious. I know I've always eyed her that that specific recipe. And when I requested her for us to do uh, something together, the first thing that came in my mind was actually to do the brined pork ribs with her because there's a way ribzaki wachana. Eh? <laughs> and I felt why not share with the 300k of you this amazing recipe so that you can try at home you see a to hotel on a dish of pork ribs pia one is a throw here down mutu wako ama watoto wako so what's the first step we do the first step you do is brine the ribs yeah uh, make sure you brine them overnight yes. or between three three to six hours minimum i think overnight would work perfect yeah. so if you know you're eating tomorrow yes. you brine it the overnight. night before yeah. yes always make sure you have to store your brine in the fridge yes yeah so when you're brining you have to store in the fridge good so what is inside here before we show guys the other ingredients for today so this is the this, this is the brine pork ribs yes uh, it's inside the brine mm -hmm. that you made overnight mm -hmm. Overnight is always best. Always cover with a cling mm -hmm. uh, so the flavors can lock inside. Uh, for the brine, mm -hmm. always use the salt. Perfect. The salt is the main ingredient ah, for the brine. Yes. The specific salt that you yes. guys are about to see. So, guys, this is what she did. She sent me all the process of brining. Brining what wangu ordinary kitchen. Ni kufanya hivi. Ni kuchanganya viungo alafu. You take whatever. You, you also you can also do chicken the same, yeah, right? Yeah, chicken, mm -hmm. beef ribs. Beef ribs. Yeah, what else? Actually, all kind of. Even Any meat. Even boozy. You see, when you're doing like the barbecues, mm -hmm. you can even do a whole, a whole goat, perfect. a whole leg. Yeah, it's perfect. 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 So guys, already I can feel the aroma. Yesterday when I was doing this last night, I actually could not feel it. But after it has slept overnight yeah. in the fridge, as you will see here, this is how it looks. So guys, so brine kwa watu wangu ordinary kitchen. Uku watu wa ordinary. Ni wa ordinary. Yao ni vitu ordinary. So wanashanga brine. Brine. What is brine? Brine is this, guys. This is brine. So what is, what, what, why should someone brine? So the brine, mm -hmm. it, it, uh, the, the brine cuts the nini had you condani, mm -hmm. like the flavor, meat. it's juicy, mm -hmm. the flavor, the salt, mm -hmm. you see the way you eat like, uh, let's say you eat a piece of meat, mm -hmm. it doesn't have salt, mm -hmm. no, the minute you brine, mm -hmm. the salt is inside and then it breaks the, what is the membrane? Mm -hmm. It is the membrane of the meat or the tissues. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. the that's why they fall. Yeah, that it's, it's that's why they fall so yeah, the rib. Yeah, of ah, the bone. Yes. Nice. Yes. So, guys, uh, Koi's kitchen uh, sent me how to brine because I had to brine before we shoot today, and this is how I did it. See the ingredients and exactly how I did it. One kg pork ribs, honey, black pepper, Himalayan pink salt, sage, thyme, garlic ginger, sliced lemons, and rosemary.
is for you to brain. One thing Koi is telling me is you actually don't need to have all those kosa 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 made to kosa kosa. The most important thing is what? The salt. Salt. Yes. The Himalayan salt. Yes. Or well, you can use normal salt. Sea salt. Sea salt. Yeah. Sea, sea salt, salt or Himalayan pink. salt. Yeah. I use Himalayan pink salt yes. because that's what she advised me. It's very affordable. I think it was going for 60 bucks. I also sell it actually. Oh, you also sell it? Yes. Ah, yeah, she sells them. Actually, 500 grams for 300 bucks. So guys, I'll actually post for you that yeah. so that guys can actually get to buy from you. Don't go to the supermarket. Yeah. She has them. Just DM her. She will send you. She will actually do the delivery for you and you can start your braining life. On that note, take us through the ingredients mm -hmm. of this week. Now for uh, after the braining, mm -hmm. you can either choose to cook it like that, mm -hmm. but why, why be why? so boring? Why basic? So after the braining, also marinate my meats, mm -hmm. and then I bake them. Sometimes I baste them in the ketchup mm -hmm. or the barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. any sauce that you have at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the flavors will take you to heaven to book okay, to book to yes. or to heaven heaven not to heaven yes. so, so we have the pork mm -hmm. and the next ingredients uh so here we have this is a pork these are pork spices mm -hmm. uh this is paprika mm -hmm. these are white onions mm -hmm. white onions are so flavorful i know they're not like the no more the onions. onions yeah mm. so i highly recommend the white onions mm -hmm. we have ketchup mm -hmm. of course we have oil mm -hmm. we have another mixed herbs for the pork mm -hmm. this is honey mm -hmm. and honey is very optional yeah if you don't like the honey the barbecue sauce is, is going to work perfect and this is also some barbecue sauce mm -hmm. yes perfect so guys those are the ingredients what is the first step yeah, I'm, I'm so salivating already so the first step mm -hmm. make sure when you after after the grinding mm -hmm. always make sure you you part dry the, the ribs ah. yeah so you don't need the meat today i'm your student yes. let me wash my hands koi and wash the hands earlier it, it smells so good already let me wash my hands with and this. please don't be tempted to use this brine ah. after you bring your meat at you wake up after the breading or usembe ah. can you take a sauce ah. so after the breading just discard the water ah. yes my friend so ni kupitapia ni panguze yes good this is what you do guys and then the next good so make sure this is completely dry right. before we marinate. Okay. This is because you don't want the flavor to go away. Yeah. The water to yes, take the, the water flavor, right? Too much. Okay. Yes. Nice. You even do this to chicken uh -huh. or your goat leg, your mm. goat ribs. ribs. Yes. Hey, my husband is about to enjoy. <laughs> to enjoy. I told you guys you can never know everything. So. I'm glad to actually get to learn from you, Koi. So we are going to make a marinade first. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I always mix with a little oil, oil. so it's easier. Mm -hmm. You can actually use it dry. Mm -hmm. You don't need to mix oh, with yes, the, yes, the yes, oil. Yes, yes, yes. But I prefer it when it's runny mm -hmm. because I feel like it holds more nicer, especially mm -hmm. when it has oil. Mm -hmm. So this is a tablespoon paprika, mm -hmm. a tablespoon of mixed spices. Mm -hmm. These are special pork spices. Mm -hmm. From who? From Chef Rubia. From Chef Rubia, yeah. that's where you get them. I need yes, to get yes. some. Will you order some for me? Yes, I will. Okay. We are going to do like a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. We are going to do uh, around two tablespoons of oil. Mm -hmm. If you have the measuring cup, the spoons, the spoons, better. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to make a marinade So we are going to make this marinade. If you have kitchen gloves, the better. You can use them. So we are just going to. to Do I need a brush now? Yeah. Or we can just use. You can them. just even use your hands. I prefer the hands. Yes. Let me help you in this yes. other side. Grilling is not really my strength. Mm -hmm. That's why I always get to your page every time. But now it's different watching and it's different when you've yeah. taught me now like mm. this. I love learning new recipes. Mm -hmm. And I'm so, so happy that I will get to actually get to learn this. Mm -hmm. So what's the next step? 
So now we are going to put it in the oven mm -hmm. and bake for 25 to 30 minutes. Nice. So but on that also one. the oven, it depends on the kind of oven you have. I noticed. Yeah. Some are super hot, some are slow. So I think you just uh, do Balance. what works with your oven. But we do 180 degrees at 25 to 30 minutes. Nice. Yes. So first things first, guys. Now we are going to foil the the baking tin. And that's why I have a foil. In my yes. funza. Yes. In my funza. Ebu, tell me, Koi, do you teach guys how to cook? Yes, yes. I offer cooking class. I have cooking classes for your nannies, for yourself, for your husband. If you want, like a, a couple class. Ah. Group, group. Uh, what are they called? Group classes. Uh huh. And you, if you refer a group, uh -huh. I give you a ten percent off. Wow! Or on your on your fee. Nice. And I'm very affordable. Very affordable. How much do you charge per class? Uh, it depends on your location. Uh -huh. Between four thousand and five thousand. Nice. Yes. How many recipes do you do when you go? Uh, between four to five. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Actually, it includes the dessert mm -hmm. from the starters to the dessert. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. So, let's, so guys, this is what she's saying. I saw Koi teaching I, and I felt like it was such a good move. Mm -hmm. Most nannies don't know how to cook True. because it's not their forte yeah. and so because they chose to. Yeah. So if you have a nanny you feel like she's really good, she wants to learn how to cook or you want never to stress yourself about the food, yeah. this is your chance, your time to actually get to call Koi and the, here is the number, I'll just put the number down here so that you guys can call her and book your cooking classes. Listen, here is a discount. If you bring number like Mimi Chabet ni mama wana da kuleta sisazwangu watano to when koi akuja to funze Mimi da pata discount sawa sawa yangu ni kuapea plugs wacha tunle kutengeneza pork. Hi, I know our baking is well aligned. Mm -hmm. We are just going to use our pit spider. Uh huh. Well, sometimes the foil sticks. Uh huh. So if you don't like the foil sticking, I have silicone mats that I sell. Nice. Yeah, so we are just going to use some oil. Silicone mats in a silianga una una grill na yo na yuta shikachi. You don't use oil at you just, all. Oh, you don't use oil at all? Yes, yes. You don't ah. use oil at all. Yeah. I will it's support. I need some. How many do I need? Uh, maybe if you have this size, mm -hmm. only one. Please deliver. But if you have the big, the bigger mm -hmm. oven, the big oven, mm -hmm. you need like two. Nice. Yes. So how much is it? It's 3500 per piece. Per piece. Yeah, but that's a lifetime investment. It's a lifetime investment. Yes. No, no. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to Actually, this oil is very expensive. Very, very, very expensive. expensive. So every time you're getting to buy this, it's quite expensive. Just uh, invest in something that you don't need to be to be rebuying. Yes. So what I do, mm -hmm. you, you see the meaty part, mm -hmm. I put it up. Oh. So after after around 15 minutes, mm -hmm. we are going to flip. So Perfect. it's going to cook on the other side. Perfect. Yeah. So this is ready for the oven. Uh -huh. Yes. Ooh. Good. Let's go to the oven, guys. One thing you did not know is, uh, pneumatic pneumatic has the best ovens, the best taps, the best sinks, the best gas cookers. Today, for the first time ever, we will be using a pneumatic. Oven and I'm glad Koi knows how know how to use it. She'll be showing me how to use it. Ili nianze nianze kuzoea nianze kuzoea soft life. So let's show you how to use an oven. So we are going to start the oven. Mm -hmm. This is the start button. Eish, it's touch, guys. It's, it's touch screen. So this is the timer. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see how many minutes you want. Now we are going to set at thirty. Thirty let's minutes. 30. Yes. yes. Now for this. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the settings, mm -hmm. the, the two arrows mm -hmm. means the oven is heating up and down. Mm -hmm. Which is the best, right? Yeah, that's the best. Mm -hmm. This one is, uh, means it's fun only. It has a fun. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this means mm -hmm. if the fire is heating down mm -hmm. and the fan is on. Nice. The fan helps to to distribute the heat ah. uh, over, over and uh, so it's important equally it's very important so when you're buying an oven mm -hmm. make sure it has a fan wow this is the grilling it's grilling up and the fan is rotating, rotating. this is the grill only this is what this is what i use mm -hmm. mostly for all my foods mm -hmm. 
when the, the heat heat is up, mm -hmm. down, and the fan is on. on. Uh, it has a default to 10, mm -hmm. which is totally fine. Mm -hmm. So we are going to start with this one. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we are going to just time here, and mm -hmm. then we are going to do it when it's 30 minutes. Oh, okay, okay, nice. So Koi, we are heating it at how many minutes? You say 20, uh, 25 going, 30 let's minutes. We preheat it for. We preheat it first yes. for five minutes. Yeah, for five minutes. I had an emoto mm -hmm. already, mm -hmm. and it has a fan on, and it is heating below and and up, uh, yes, below up and, and up, right yes, up and yes, down. Yes. So. So the good thing with this oven, it has a, a smart display. So it's going to be showing us how the how your heat is uh, is faring on, or how hot your oven is. We are now at 62 degrees. We are going to wait until it. Oh my god, just put hey, What do we do? Can we put it out? Can you see it Ah, nice. Oh my god, boy. Oh my god, boy. How much you move into your house? Five more minutes. So now the pot is ready. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm going to put it in the Oh, it's like that. Ah, nice. So we are going to put the rib in the pot. So we are going to let the, the pork ribs sit for a few minutes before slicing. And then we are going to take them to the next level. Oh my god, next level? Do you see it? You can. Yeah. Like my hubby loves dry stuff, so yeah. Uh, yeah, my yeah, hubby yeah. is parents, guys. So I find it is funny sana kumoja my hubby. Ana penda dry stuff. I'm about to surprise him. Na usiseme ni recipe yako. Kiona sawa. Oh my god, that's the aroma. Tuache ipo kidogo ndio tukatakate. Eh, acha ipo. Na ni wako the sauce. So we work on the sauce. I've tasted it. I don't know what I should have done. It is tasty. You should try it. Guys, so what's the next step we are doing now? Actually, you can serve the ribs as they are. Mm -hmm. Like for Terrence would love it like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. but now we are going to escalate them mm -hmm. to the next level. You so are to show off. Yes. You are about to show off. Yes. For those who don't love show off, this is where you will eat it. But for us, mm -hmm. who like being extra? This is where we'll be moving. But before that, guys, listen. This oven that we've used is perfect. Do you like it? Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's a touch. And it only goes for 78,000 Kenyan shillings. Only. Only. So, ukibai naka kagasi kwe machi machi, ita kwa 38. So, ina kuja to around 116. Yeah. 116. Around 116, okay? Yeah. 116 for yes. both. Yeah. And this one you'll never regret. If you want to add the wood, especially guys who are building yeah. or who, are, who plan to move to their own homes, this would be, this would be a perfect set. Yeah. Or if you have moved to a house that you can get, this can still fit, this would still be perfect. So you'll need like 220 yeah, for both. And you will be sorted for life. Yeah. By the way, Vitu Zao ni Noma Sana. This is my first time using the oven and I love it. Yeah, I'll be I'll actually be doing more. Yeah. I've, used I've, used it, I've used it so many times. You've used it so many times. Perfect, perfect. I don't have any way to me by there, but I've never used a touch yes. oven. Thank you. Pneumatic are my people. Kabisa. <laughs> Now we are going to make the sauce. Uh -huh. uh, use white onions, uh -huh. they are the best, uh -huh. they are very flavorful. Uh -huh. And one onion is about 10 or 20 shillings. Yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. So now we are going to make, we start by adding a little oil. Don't add too much oil mm -hmm. because the, the pork the has oil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just use around 
just for, for, for it to cook there. Yeah. So the onions, yes. Nice. So let's say three tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. So we are going to heat this up mm -hmm. and then we are going to add the onions. Uh, and while the sauce is cooking, mm -hmm. we are going to slice the the pork the pork into, like, are separate ribs. Perfect. Yes. I'll do that for you. Yes. Thou shall not worry. What is my work here? Mm -hmm. So tell me how if I'm doing it right, like that? Yeah, that's okay. Like that? Yes. On that note, guys, I that in a Nice. Listen, Numa, if you buy a set of uh, the the cooker, the micro the um, the microwave and the oven, guess what? You will get this full set for free. This set goes for 5k. You actually need it in your house. This. It comes with this and this. So if you're peeling a fruit, you need this. If you're cutting ribs like me, you need this. And potatoes. And potatoes, that one. So guys, kujapa, by the kama umnainu no no jaipe wa ulizia ni yako set yako. So you buy a cooker, an oven, and a microwave, and go, ah, and wood, it's actually a wood. It's the wood, the cooker, and the oven. You get a free set of these knives. So what I mean, you don't know, cut a cutter. Now our oil is hot. Your oil is ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to add the onions. Mm -hmm. The more the merrier. I love onions. They look. Yeah. Also, I, I, I forgot to mention a point. After braiding your meat, avoid anything salty. Avoid soy sauce, mm. avoid beef cubes, just even the salt. When you're doing the marinade, avoid the salt. Because the meat itself is already salty, so your, your meat will be super salty, extra salty. So always avoid the salt after braining. Ah, nice. Don't overcook the onions, mm -hmm. like to overcook. A few golden, a few white. Yes. 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 Now mm -hmm. we are going to add the sauces. Mm -hmm. We are going to start with the ketchup. I put it on. I put it all of it. No, this is honey. The oh, this is honey. Yes. Ketchup. Yeah, put all the ketchup. You can see my namacho. <laughs> or decide half a cup. Mm -hmm. So this is half a cup for... For ketchup, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. we are going to do a little barbecue sauce. A little barbecue sauce. I'll put half of it on. Yes, half of it. Like that. You can actually just use the the barbecue sauce without the ketchup. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the ketchup adds more sweetness. Sweet sour, yeah. Yes. You can actually add chili. Uh -huh. if, if you, you love chili. Yeah, if you love chili. I add a little. We are going to finish it off with a little honey. And, a little honey. and this is very optional. And for the people who love sweet and yeah. sour, yes. Can I add more? No, no, honey? no that's enough. That's, that's funny. Enough, yeah. <laughs> now we are going to add in the ribs. And on that point of chili, before we add the ribs, I have this chili. I will oh. give you this for you actually. Oh, thank you. It's hot. Oh, Use a pinch. Mm. Yes. Have chili flakes, so you can cook with it. Oh, you can. Thank you. Sprinkle it. You love to leave it. Yeah. Perfect. For your avocado toast. Yeah. You're talking about it. So, so I add in the ribs. Yeah, add them back. Mm. If your kids don't love the onions, you can actually blend them. Ah, you can blend them and put it in the Yes, yes, yes. Ah. yes. Because I know most kids don't like the onions. So you're just going to. You only do this when you're qualified. qualified. Me, no. No. Never. You can't be me. Can't be me. Can't be me. And then we are going to let it cook until Can I try? everything is coated. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> See if we can't even do it. I can't. Let's see. Ah! 
Never. Start from this side, like it's like your baby. Never. Never. Hey, say you mug up. Oh my god, that is so good. Perfect. Oh my god. Oh. We have to do now. You're going to garnish with a little dania. I garnish with a little dania. What on a panda was so cool. Yes. That's it, guys. What was it? What was it? Another. Wow. That's it, guys. It's that simple to make your pork. Oh, your brine. Your brine, right? Yeah, brine. Your brine pork. Ribs, oh my god, I can't wait to dig in. Not a single jisana, so she will also teach me how to plate. She's a guru in plating, she's a Just. guru of plating. Ooh. You know, we first eat with our eyes. I mean, as a live it, you go to the why? It's a little bit of a Jesus, you have to pick me. Me, 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 Jackie, she's beautiful. Done. Yeah, we're working on the weight. <laughs> so, I'm going to taste it. Okay, let's go. So, I see, I'm going to do my test up and judge. I'm going to do my test up and judge. I'm going to do my test up and judge. I'm going to do my test up and judge. I'm going to do my test up and judge. I'm going to do my test up and judge. That's it. The ribs. Ashwa kwa nani ele bezo na penda ngono tu mianga pesa mingi sana. Unajua? Right? Sai na ijua na kufunza. This is amazing. I know. Ni kona swali simu pike pia rabbit. Honestly, no, no, no. On a serious note, you do. You do it. You've never. I saw someone. I saw someone complaining that she bought rabbit. She was going to buy chicken and she bought rabbit. I love how Kakuta has no recipes in the world. It's a good one. It's a roaming chef. That's a good one. I said it's a roaming chef, but I don't have a good one. Oh, and the Miss Mandy. I go to Miss Mandy, whoever it is, and we get to pick a recipe, and we kill it. Thank you so much, Koi's Kitchen, for actually gracing with the kitchen. This is a recipe I have desired to know. Every time I get to know something that I've really, really wanted to know, I sana. And for the first time ever, most of the time I used to cook with the kitchen, na pe awasi wana kula ina yawata yone view sasa. Aha, any last words? Ah, thank you for having me. In case you have any inquiries, you can follow me on Koi's Kitchen, and Millie is going to share our number. Yes. So guys, I will share your number. I want you guys, my number. I, I want you guys to support her. But actually, she can come teach her. I know auntie is a guru. I could jump to the stories are grilling. I love it. Kabisa. Yeah, then it's open. It will make it open. So so you ngoje. You ngoje to nakambia. Mimi nakuja. Kusho off. Kusho off. Kusho off. So guys, she does, she does teach guys how to cook. She comes to your house and afunza nani wako. And as a kuja, our funze ka team. Atawe manye ka wako na desire. She also has a page that sells so many other things. I will put the handle here and the number here. You guys can get to support her. Uh, thank you so much for gracing my kitchen. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Anytime. I appreciate I hope you're going to make this for Terence. For your husband. I'm surprising. Yeah. Sini mekombi ni kifanya usiseme ni yako. Sema tu ngara chebi, ngara chebi, ngara chebi. Kabisa, thank you much, so much for coming. She's a lady of few words. I've spoken yeah. most for her. For now, guys, it's it's what? Adios!